welcome back. They are a hockey team without a safe place to practice because of war. Before Russia's invasion, there were about two dozen rinks across Ukraine, but that number has dwindled. And now the men's under 25 national hockey team has been welcomed into this country, where they've been given much more than just a place to train. With the scars of war scattered throughout Kyiv, the Ukrainian under-25 national team takes the ice. Exempt from military service, for now, this group is preparing for a crucial North American competition. Led in the locker room by 24-year-old Andrei Grigoriev and 22-year-old Gleb Krivoshapkin. I'm in, in love with the hockey, I don't know. This is like part of my life, maybe not a part, maybe all my life, yeah. My soul, my everything. I mean, I don't like soccer because it's too slow. And hockey is a pretty quick game. And sometimes I like to fight. <laughs> hockey is providing these young men with a chance to temporarily leave Ukraine. But it isn't shielding them from the horrors their country has suffered since Russia invaded last February. A new Iron Curtain is falling across Europe tonight. Russia unleashing a brutal military assault on Ukraine. To see it now is to witness terrible destruction and human tragedy. It heard some explosion, yeah. And I think it was a dream, but it's not. Then I seen that missile, which goes on top of my house. You can hear the rockets, the bullets, the explosions. This smile is like a protection, you know? I'm just holding on to not cry, be real emotional. That's why I'm smiling, but... I've never seen something that bad like a war. Never. Nothing. My father turned on the news, and they said, like, they are in the city. I asked my parents, what are we gonna do? He said, we are gonna fight. With what? He took an ax. My mom, my mom got the knives from the kitchen. And I got the sticks, I like hockey sticks. You're realizing that there is the guys with the guns, with the weapon. And I have a, you know, a hockey stick in my hands. I think this is what means to be Ukrainian. This is our home. And we will fight for it if we will need to. As civilians, Gleb and Andre want to contribute to the national cause in the best way they know how, through hockey preparing with the under-25 squad for the World University Games and exhibitions in Saskatchewan, Alberta, and Manitoba. All of the Ukrainians have to do best right now to help Ukraine in this battle. So this is your part? Yep. The University of Saskatchewan men's hockey team set to play an exhibition fundraising game for Ukraine's Hockey Federation. The trip to Canada is dubbed the Hockey Can't Stop Tour, designed to raise funds for humanitarian and hockey programs across Ukraine. Why keep playing hockey in the middle of a war? Sports always important for every country, for the state building, to show that country still exists, 
that our lives um, are still matter. On every leg of their journey, the team is met by the warm embrace of Canada's Ukrainian diaspora. Thank you all the fans for supporting us. Thank you. But while traveling through Canada, the team cannot escape the realities of war back home. As a hockey rink in the town of Druzhkivka was destroyed by the Russian military. No way. This rink is like, you know, it's kind of like the part of my heart because I've been there for six years. That was a, kind of like a home for many Ukrainian players. It's terrifying. They are destroying our infrastructure. Hockey is not going to die, and all the sports is not going to die. We're still alive. We're trying to build new arenas, and that's why we're here. Hello and welcome inside Canada Life Center here in downtown Winnipeg for game four of the Hockey Can't Stop Tour. The rebuilding mission continues in Winnipeg on January 8th, a game against the University of Manitoba in front of 8,000 fans. The Ukrainians lost their previous three games, but tonight, in front of a sea of blue and yellow, things changed. Power like a two, left through, they score! And for the first time in this tour, Ukraine has the lead, one nothing. I feel the big support from the whole world right now. Here's a chance for Ukraine right in front, backhander, they score! I'm just trying to find the words to explain my feelings at that moment, but it's not even happiness. It's something else. The final game of the Hockey Can't Stop Tour, and Ukraine wins. In the end, the tour raised more than a million dollars to rebuild hockey in Ukraine. I see the support of Canadians. I see the support of Ukrainian refugees that I believe that miracles can happen and come true. And everything is possible in this world if you have true, kind intentions. I just don't want to leave. It's just amazing feelings to see so many people cheering for you, screaming for you screaming your name. Th maybe this is why we love hockey. Right after the tournament, the Ukrainian team competed in the World University Games for the first time. They won twice and lost three games. But they've returned to Ukraine with more than a million dollars in funding for humanitarian and hockey programs.